uh, May 11 marks the first anniversary of Andrew Kerr's death at the back of Schenectady police car, where no words of regret, remorse, or apology were heard. We are here to create a place for justice to emerge, and we are marking it with this tree. Last week, we sent an invitation to Officer Mark Weeks, under whose care Andrew drew his last breath, to attend this ceremony. We give him a chance to express his remorse, and we invite him here now. Does everyone out here know what happened to Andrew Kears? Yes. It's all right if you don't. So, so just to fill y'all in, last year, May 11th, Andrew Kears was taken into custody in Schenectady, New York. Right now, it's not the, about the circumstances under which he was arrested, but it's about what happened to him in that police car. Andrew Kears was placed in the back of a police car, and the first thing he said to those officers was, I can't breathe. Shockingly eerie to Eric Gardner, but he said, in fact, I can't breathe. Never was he disrespectful. Never, not one time disrespectful. He said, I cannot breathe. The cop said, it's hot back there, right? He said, yeah, man, yeah, out of breath. He said, well, if you wanted to breathe, maybe you shouldn't get involved with the police. This is what was said. Over the last 17 minutes of Andrew Kearse's life, he begged for his life 70 times. What we're talking about is systematic oppression. What we are talking about is racism. What we are talking about is police brutality. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is Andrew's cry. This is his cry for help, his last voice, his, his last everything that he had. So I want all of you guys to be listen to him because this is his last, I guess, last testimony.
of the Mark Weeks. Took his time. Put his little gloves on. Wet. Opened the door. I just got now. He goes, Yo, buddy, yo, buddy, get up. And I still checking his post. Nothing. He says, Yo, buddy, yo, buddy, get up. Nothing. No calling the ambulance. No nothing. Again, yo, buddy, yo, buddy, get up. Now, it takes him and another officer to drag Andrew out the police car and place him on the ground. Now you see all the officers coming out of this connected the police department. They are standing around. They're laughing. They're drinking coffee. They're doing nothing. Mugger, oh, my quick, they're doing compressions on him. Doesn't blow in his mouth. Doesn't call the ambulance. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> and then it takes another 10 minutes for them to come with the defibrillators as they come in. They're just walking to him. Well, Officer Mark Weeks gets over Andrew, goes to the police car. The window's open. He leans over and he starts crying. Another officer comes and rubs him on the back. <laughs> So I've been saying for months since I seen this in January 10th. And I asked him again, Officer Mark Weeks, why are you crying? Are you crying because I just dead? Or are you crying because you know you messed up? I want to know, I want to know these answers. And if you guys heard what I heard or what I seen, because I can't get that out of my head, and you think that he killed Andrew, then I need all of you guys to be his voice because as you heard he didn't hear him I need all of you to go to the attorney general and ask for a grand jury to have him prosecuted okay he needs justice his voice will not be silenced and I will not silence it, it because his life didn't matter and he took something that was very special to me all right justice for Andrew Kiss. Justice for Andrew Kidd. Say his name. Andrew Kidd. Justice for Andrew Kidd. Say his name. Andrew Kidd. Justice for Andrew Kidd. Say his name. Andrew Kidd. Who they kill? Andrew Kidd. Say his name. Andrew Kidd. Justice for Andrew Kidd. Say his name. Andrew Kidd. So on Monday, everyone here can call the Attorney General's office and say that you want justice for Andrew Kears. Convene the grand jury now. Indict this killer cop. Send him to jail. The same way they send people from our communities to jail when they commit crimes, send them away. No one is above this law and no one is above God's law. Y'all make it a point to let the new Attorney General know that Andrew's life matter. Don't be discouraged. Joy.